Hello and welcome. Today I want to briefly discuss with you a very important topic in which the sun, the moon, and the stars will align with perfection to fulfill a 2,000 year old prophecy. Perfection only found from the creator of heaven and earth. This prophecy was written down in the book of Revelation, the last book in the Holy Bible, directly from Jesus. This book was given to us so that we would know the time of the end, what to expect, and to know what would happen. Let's read Revelation 12 together. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she being with child cried, travailing in birth, and pain to be delivered. So what we see written here is the constellation Virgo, which is known as the woman, who is clothed with the sun. That means the sun is currently in the constellation Virgo. The moon is under her feet, and above her head is a crown of 12 stars. And Jupiter enters her belly, stays there for nine months, and exits, showing a birth. So in this very descriptive passage, we see all phases, the sun, the moon, and the stars, all coming together to form a picture of a birth. And again, lastly, the nine stars from Leo, always above her head, plus the three wandering stars align perfectly for the crown. God himself spoke through the prophet Daniel and said these things would be sealed up until the time of the end, as in nobody would really understand until the end came. Thanks to technology, we have a program called Stellarium. It allows us to go forward and backward in time and see how the stars align. Because as they have seen, every star, every planet known as a wandering star follows a mathematical equation. This alignment has never happened. In the beginning, in the book of Genesis, God himself says the sun, the moon, and the stars will be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. This prophecy is no exception. What's also really interesting is when Jesus was telling his apostles of when he will return, he himself said that there would be signs in the sun and the moon and in the stars and upon the earth the stress of nations, as in much trouble going on, as we see now. Hopefully by now you see that this topic is worthy of your time for further investigation. This is something that you can see with your very own eyes and confirms that the Bible is true. If you haven't done so, please seek Jesus Christ today, as time may be running out. God bless, and please share this with everyone you know.